Hi, this is Phil and Andy from SkiTalk.com, and let's talk about the Kessley ZX100. Andy, you had a chance to spend some time on this ski last year. I have some things that I'll add to it also. But Andy, what are your impressions of the new ZX? Uh, I think it's a really uh, good ski for someone looking for that narrow or wide ski in uh, the Tahoe area, the Sierras. Uh, East Coast tree ski for those days when they get yep. that dump that's going to hang around for a few days and you know where the stashes are. Yeah. Uh, I found it a little bit stiffer than its bigger brother, the 108, but what that gives it is a little more ease getting back to the lift when the groomers are out. No, it, it, I, it, I, I agree. And it really is a deceptive ski in this range. I mean, Kessie's bringing their technology and their reputation down to a little more of an obtainable price point mm -hmm. with this ZX series, but really it makes it no less of a Kessley, just a different Kessley. Right. And yeah, an experience as far as in that aspect of it, if you've had a chance to see uh, TGR HBO series Edge of the Earth. There's a tremendous section with Griffin Post up in Alaska skiing one of the biggest descents in Alaska on not only the ZX 108 here, it's Big Brother, and also the 115. So the ski definitely has some chops to it. Absolutely. Yeah, they uh, they did a really nice job bringing this down market, which yeah. I've don't even really like that yeah, exactly. term. No, you're right. It makes yep. it no less of a ski. It 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 hits a different uh, a clientele, maybe. No, I agree. But while still being able to, like you said, it's got chops. Yeah, and I mean, when we get to this price point with Kessleys, I almost refer to them as gateway Kessleys right. to get them into these attainable price points into some of their more expensive the MX and the FXs. Yeah. Uh, point of reference: dimensions on the ZX. 100, it's 134 in the tip, 100 in the waist, and a 121 in the tail. In the 181 that we have here, it's got an 18 meter turn radius, so it falls right, the, the numbers are pretty much in line with a lot of other mm -hmm. skis in this range, but we also have a ski here, if we take a look at the profile of it, we do have a lot of more rise here than we find in some of the other skis in, in this range here. Not much in tail rise. So the front of the skis can be, as you said, really surfy and mm -hmm. playful in those mixed conditions. Yet that tail is going to hold through the turn for you. So it's going to come down to, I mean, who's, this, who's the ZX100 going to be for? I think that finesse tree skier, um, like you said, a great East Coast powder ski as an option there. And as far as the people that might find the limitations on it might be the bigger, stronger Bigger, ski. yeah. I wouldn't say it's a charger ski. It's no. a finesse ski. Um, there's better choices for bigger or stronger, more powerful skiers. Yeah. And that's the ski that you're probably going to find a little more wheelbase on it with a little less rise. Right, right. So, And as far as an insider tip on them, these skis do run pretty true to length, if anything, a little bit long. So um, as far as sizing, don't... There's no need to really size up on the skis. So, I mean, Kessie's got a really good series here. They started last year with it, carry over for this year, and we've been really happy with them. And you're getting a really nice ski at a really at a nice price point. Yeah. And in the end, it comes down to skiing, skiing is, is fun. fun. To read the full review of the ski, please go to skitalk.com and click on the review tab. Please also hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more reviews and other ski related content and add thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, follow SkiTalk.com on all of our social media channels. And remember, no matter how still you are, Ben Stiller.